When the players are going to discover Prince of Persia, The Lost Crown, I really hope that they are going to wish that the music was louder. <laughs> I think music and video games, they're crucial to the whole experience. It's the foundation for the whole feeling of the game. Obviously, I expected the greatest from myself. Prince of Persia is one of these games you know from childhood. The first goal was really to bring back the brand. The Lost Crown is a brand new chapter of Prince of Persia history. This game is going back to the roots, to the DNA of the Montpellier studio. Music is supportive in games, but sometimes it can also lead the way. Finally, this game is us. To modernize the brand, we decided to stray away from the Arabic cliché and we looked for an Iranian composer who could bring his unique and, most important, accurate music style that matches with our game. This is why we decided to work with Mentrix as the main composer. My name is Samar. I'm a recording artist under the name Mentrix. I make music and visuals to communicate with myself and the world. Samar is important on the team because she has a Iranian background and a huge knowledge of Iranian instruments. I was born in Iran and I moved to Europe, first to Paris and then to the UK and now to Berlin, I feel very um, connected to my roots and my culture. I discover the Matrix music on the internet. I showed her music to the team, and uh, the team enjoyed the, the style. When we saw the video clip, we have in the moment discovered that the intention in uh, Mentrix was something that was very near of what we were doing. I was very much exposed to classical Iranian music, traditional music, and religious music. Even though in my teenage years I struggled with it for a while, today I believe that they've really shaped the artist that I am. She was playing with the Persian chords in this music, in the costume, in the video clip, and she was bringing more contemporary, more modern stuff. So throughout my entire childhood, music was pretty much forbidden. It was only later on in my early 20s that I discovered rock and punk and all these other influences that became inspiration for me. We definitely had no idea of what the music could sound like. It's a good way to work because when you don't have a specific idea in mind, you're not narrow-minded. You're open to propositions. My early references obviously have a lot of um, Iranian sounds associated with them, uh, like the tar or um, setar, kamanche. We want to be as authentic as possible, and Mentrix has a huge knowledge and a huge sensitivity. She is an Iranian composer, so she has a huge and deep knowledge in traditional Iranian music. The fact that for this game, Ubisoft was looking for something really specific and new, and who would give me a green light to explore sounds and uh, directions that allow real originality in the music while conserving the Iranian roots, the classical inspirations, is just a great opportunity. What can I say? I'm just absolutely overjoyed to be collaborating with them. Uh, let's do a take with uh, the music, yeah. So, uh, go from the, st the, the start, I can 
could just guide her and yeah, I'll, I'll have it with you. Mentrix was the foundation of our mythological game. She built all the atmosphere alongside with creatures, especially fantasy creatures that are specific to the mythological Persia. Gareth worked on the narrative aspect of the game. He mainly worked on the boss fights, iconic boss fights, but also character themes and cinematics. A lot of my projects for Ubisoft always focus on, like, there's a, there's a lot of combat music and a lot of heavier music, but one might argue that, like, I'm probably most known for doing, like, really soft music from, from the Ori series. So it's actually, it's really interesting to be able to flex that muscle of doing combat music, especially set in this unique universe. Yeah! I'm not really just doing typical Hollywood Persian sounding music. We all kind of know what that sounds like. What we want to do is get a little flavor of modernization, not just into the look of the game, but also the music. The we have this uh, character called Orod. One of the things we wanted to do, this is kind of a reference, but I liked the idea as a reference because his moveset is quite unpredictable. So they wanted to, me to really experiment with very interesting rhythms that were like not typical, like very off the beat. Come on, betrayer! We're trying to do a different spin on tales that we have known for a long time. Give me a challenge! We took some assets as an inspiration, as an homage from the Sons of Time, but of course we created our own assets from scratch and modernized them to make sure that it matches with our game direction. It feels like a very fresh and new approach to Prince of Persia that I myself haven't seen before. So you're trying to balance old and new because you can't take away the identity of what made the game series popular in the first place. But equally, games have to constantly reinvent themselves. The first presentation of the game, and uh, especially uh, regarding the identity, Jean-Christophe in his presentation uh, bring uh, in the first time some urban references. In the very early step, uh, I like to listen a lot of music, to immerse myself in the world I can imagine. Various music from a Persian trap to a very traditional Iranian music. Making it modern is creating bridges between these different influences and cultures and speak to all the players around the world, making something universal. While uh, working on the trailer music, it was important for us to try to find uh, urban musicians. Building music for a video game is one thing. Building music for revealing the game is something else. We were, I think, all really excited um, for this one because it gives you an opportunity, you know, to mix different styles and genres, like Persian instruments and textures, and then with uh, Jocelyn's beats and uh, the rap from Katayam. I 
wanted to kind of be as general as possible, but also hitting on like certain elements in the game, like uh, what is he facing and certain stuff. Usually use direct images of like what he's facing as a, like a metaphor for like certain obstacles. Jonathan is also really good in taking like a traditional recording and then completely destroying it. The main theme of the song is uh, made out of three samples. Then this one. And that's the next one. So the, those were the samples that I chopped up, like uh, cutted them, tried different things, pitched them up and down, lots of effects on them and uh, the outcome. You still have the vibe and the, the sound of that instrument or music from Persia, but it's also something new and fits perfectly with, with hip hop beats. I've been a big fan of Prince of Persia since my childhood, from the very, very first game, it's decades ago, to the most recent game entries uh, from the last decade. I was 14 years old when I discovered A Sense of Time. You know, when you progress in the game, you unlock new swords. And there was one specific sword that I was in love with the design. And I remember I loved it so much that during my holidays, I spent two entire weeks crafting a wood version of it. And I painted it, I put all the details, just so I could play on my parents' garden and play the prints, like doing some acro acrobatic stuff, etc. And now I remember this word is ugly as hell. But I still keep it on my parents' you know, uh, home because it's good memories. I can't wait for players to get lost in Mount Cuff and experience this unique atmosphere. I hope that this game could bring the old generation fans and new generation fans together into an enjoyable experience. In my opinion, the very best games have a nice balance where different elements of the game, the art, the animation, the music, the story, all take turns to take the lead and work together. And that's what I feel like we're doing with Prince of Persia. Uh, I hope the players will really, really enjoy to immerse in this world of fantasy, of adventure. When the players are going to discover Prince of Persia, The Lost Crown, I really hope that they're going to not only enjoy the game, but wish that the music was louder. 